Hi everybody! So I figured we kind of talk about, for all you ladies out there, the womanly cycle, the period, on raw vegan, you know, because I think this is very, very important, which a lot of you raw foodies out there, you guys already know that. And for us ladies, it is very important. And that's one thing is I notice a lot of women, females, young, middle-aged, and older, when they change their, their way of eating onto a raw vegan, low-fat raw vegan, uh, or even plant-based diet, um, that's one thing that kind of red flags them is they end up losing their period. And that's one thing that happened to me. It happened to me. I had other problems going on before I went raw. Um, but you know what? Your body balances out. It balances out and, um, uh, and it's okay because your, your, your body will balance out. And that's one thing is on a low fat raw vegan diet, you most certainly can still have your period for sure. And that's one thing that I just love about another one of the many things that I love about eating low fat raw vegan, low fat raw vegan, not just raw vegan, but low fat raw vegan. That, that there's a distinction between there, between high fat raw vegan and a low fat raw vegan. There is a big distinction between there, if you ask Miss Stacey here, guys. Um, but that's why I certainly vouch for a low fat raw vegan diet because that seems to be the perfect spot, the perfect spot for the body, you know, um, in my opinion, based off of what I've experienced and everything, and kind of what I've seen from other people too. And, um, but that's one thing is for me personally, the period is not as intense as it once used to be. I remember my periods being so painful where it would literally just drop you to your knees or just you just want to lay in bed. You don't really want to move because it's just so painful down there, you know. I remember taking so many Tylenols and, uh, you know, just kind of upping the strength of the Tylenol too. And it was so hard to, I remember going to school and then of course when work came on board, how it was just so difficult to get through the day. And it would last, of course, the period would kind of last for quite a while too, you know, and it would be kind of heavy too and not for me personally not super heavy like some ladies but I mean from what I experience now looking back my on an animal animal based product diet and everything it was pretty heavy and but now on a low fat raw vegan diet it's like wonderful. I still have it, but it's not super painful. And it's, I feel a little bit of pain, but it's not enough that, that makes me feel bad. It's not enough that, that straps me down to the bed or, or makes me want to even think about taking any medication to mask the pain. It's not like that. It's, it's gentle and easy and the bloating, the I don't really, I blow a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. And I remember before I went raw vegan, low fat raw vegan, the bloating was really bad. But on low fat raw vegan, it's like, wow, it's like nothing's really happening. But, but the period is the cycles going through it taking its process and everything but it's like it's you can still go about your day just fine and it's you know something's happening but i mean it's it's just like it's not as intense as it once used to be you know and uh the 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 flow of it is not super super heavy at all and it doesn't last as long either so that it's just really wonderful and and um but i think it's very important for all us ladies out there, females, that we don't completely cut out the fats in the diet. Low fat, eating low fat, you'll still have your period. You'll still have your period if you're eating enough. If you're eating enough, but I think you shouldn't completely cut out your fats because I remember I did that for quite a while and I felt the effects of that. And um, that's one thing I learned is no, you don't cut out your fats completely. You, we, especially us ladies, we need we need the fats, but the problem happens is when we start eating too much fat. And um, that's why there's a, a distinction, like I said before earlier in the video, between uh, raw vegan, where you're eating higher fat and everything, 
versus low fat raw vegan. So I I have felt a, a difference between the two and um, even before raw vegan. So I, I'm for me personally, I, I see the effects of how we eat and the effect that fat plays in our in our diet too. But there is a distinct distinction between animal fat and plant fats too. And so, um, but that's a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother video, you know. But but anyways, but like the the period, I mean, that is another humongous wonderful for you ladies out there benefit of eating the way we are designed to eat the way God created it you know uh, the raw fruits and vegetables leafy greens nuts and seeds it benefits not all not only all these other wonderful things for the body but specifically for the female body and the process and the hormones that it goes through or the processes it goes through it benefits in the reproductive area very well, <laughs> very well. And so, but I'm not the health expert at all, you guys. These, I'm just kind of sharing you my thoughts and opinions and kind of based off my own experiences because it's fun to share with everybody and it's fun to hear everybody else's thoughts and opinions. And I'm sorry if this is too much information, which people call TMI. I, for a long time, I could never figure out what is TMI? What everything TMI? What, did, what is this texting shorthand language? And it's too much information. I finally figured that out recently. So I'm like, so sorry if it's TMI, too much information, but, but it's actually, it's very important though. It's very important when you think about it. It's all part of health. It's part of the human body. That's what the body goes through, especially for females. And it's important and it's all part of the human life cycle too and it's all part of health it's all part of health you know and but that's one thing if you guys are concerned or all you ladies are concerned about the period or anything I know for me uh, I'm based off of what I've learned from other raw foodie ladies too is that your period does come back it's just you have to that give your body time Give your body time and rest to heal and to balance out, but you also got to make sure you're eating enough too. That's very important is you got to make sure you're eating enough and that you don't completely cut out all the fats because us females, we, we do need the plant fats and um, we do need the fats, but um, again, you don't want to overdo it because that's one thing is the, the higher you increase your fat intake, the more health problems you actually run into. And um, of course, yeah, there's a distinction between animal fats and plant fats, but even on plant fats, I think the higher fat intake you go, even if it is plant fats, you can still run into some problems. And that's one thing more, the more fat you have, I know for, for me, kind of when I increase my fat, a little bit higher, I notice the womanly cycle is a little bit more painful and a little bit more heavier. And um, it's not super bad or anything, but I, I notice a difference between my normal low fat and versus a little bit higher fat. So it's, it's very interesting when you monitor your body over the years um, on your raw vegan journey and everything, um, how how it affects how the the fats and and just everything everything uh, plant foods how it affects your body and it's just when the changes that you do just kind of the experiments that you do how it affects your body and you can better make better choices in the future too but it's it's uh, it's all up to you how how you want to do things so but you also got to remember that this body is not your body your, this body is God's body. He's entrusted you, your spirit, you to reside in this physical body while to fulfill this purpose you have that he has for you on this earth. But, um, but we, God has entrusted us to take care of our bodies. And so, I mean, the, we are residing in the body. God gives us a choice on how we take care of it. But he, won't, he values our health, he values us, our lives, our spirit and everything, and, and he, he knows that we need to take care of our bodies, and um, he's told us what we need to do, it's just, it's up to us if we want to, if we want to follow what God has truly 
what he the laws he has set in place you know and and if you don't follow those laws then you deal with the consequences and um, so that that's going off on a whole other topic anyways but anyways ladies if you want to take care of your bodies I highly recommend no fat raw bacon just my opinion just Miss Stacy's opinion okay you guys so remember to love being raw put a big old smile on your face today I hope I did that for you and I will see you guys next video okay bye guys